Thank you for joining us. I'm Courtney Cole with the WBZ News Update. Let's take a look at our top stories on this Saturday. Boston is taking aim at Walgreens after the company decided to close three locations in Roxbury, Hyde Park and Mattapan. The city council says they won't allow Walgreens to open any new stores unless they stop the closures. Walgreens tells us that they are reviewing the council's proposals and are currently working on a response. Regular service for the ride is back this morning after an outage impacted services yesterday. The MBTA's paratransit service says that riders were unable to book their trips because of a communication and technology issue. It impacted their ability to schedule and send out vehicles, but they now say all issues have been resolved. The New England Patriots are working to give veterans the respect they deserve. The Kraft Family, Patriots Foundation, and Cross Insurance spent Veterans Day honoring those who fought in the Vietnam War. Patriots owner Robert Kraft shook every hand, recognizing 30 veterans for their service in a pinning ceremony and luncheon at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Now for a check of our forecast with meteorologist Sarah Robleski. Hey, Sarah. We have a next weather alert because we're tracking some of the remnants of Nicole pushing on through as well as a cold front. And sure enough, most of the gusty downpours will continue to come to an end. But we did see some areas pick up over an inch of rain and some gusts between 40 to even 50 miles per hour. A few power outages as well as pockets of damage. But overall, what we're going to be watching for is improvement as we head into the afternoon. Still some gusts over 30 in spots could create some more isolated damage and bring down some of those leaves, creating some slippery spots where it is damp, but look for drier weather to develop later this morning into the afternoon hours. In fact, temperatures will stay on the mild side. Another 70 degree day, the sixth time this happened in Boston this month. That's a record for the number of 70 degree days tied uh, with the number of years. The last time it happened was back in 2020, but by this evening, uh, the sun goes down. It's clear and temperatures will be falling through the 60s into the 50s. So enjoy the 70s while you can. I do expect the winds to bring in drier air so the humidity and the dew points will be dropping tomorrow highs only in the 50s 40s to the north and west it will still be a bit breezy and cooler and we've got a mix of sun and clouds and the chance of showers not going away so this front moves off the coast we're better this afternoon and as you head out this evening dry weather too clouds thicken overnight and the risk of some showers move on in so out the door early tomorrow we've got these hit or miss showers across the area and that threat continues through about midday especially down for parts of the Cape and Islands. This is right around the afternoon hours. Notice the much cooler air to the north and west. That will be pushed on in on some breezy northwest winds. So as we head into next week, we're going to see a big pattern change. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s for overnight lows. Highs only in the 40s to near 50. And we'll be tracking our next weather system by the middle part of the week. That one looks to be mainly rain in Boston for now. But it could be cold enough. Areas north and west, higher terrain. Could see a few wet snowflakes mixing on in. Courtney. All right. Thank you, Sarah. I'm Courtney Cole. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.